Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss a program that is to check whether a number is prime or not. So the objective of the program is written in first statement with the help of comment. Then I have included header file stdr.h for printf scanf. Then main function contains various instructions in which first is variable declaration. Here I have uh, used three variables i, n or f. f is known as flag variable. It will uh, change its value from 0 to 1 when a particular condition will be satisfied. Then printf, it will print a message enter a number on console. Then scanf, uh, this function will read a number from console and this no that number will be stored inside n. Now this loop is implemented uh, to check whether the number is prime or not. So first of all, we have to understand the concept of prime. So uh, those number which are divisible by only one and uh, self, uh, those numbers are known as prime numbers. For example, 11. 11 can be divided by one and 11. Uh, whereas six or nine can be uh, can be treated uh, can be treated as not prime because uh, they can be divide uh, they can be divided by other than one or themselves. So, with the help of this for loop, we can uh, we will be able to identify whether the number is prime or not. So, I have started or initialized the loop counter with two because uh, we are ignoring one uh, because every number is divisible by one. Then condition is i less than n. So I have removed equals to from here because each number will be divisible by itself. So starting from 2 and ending uh, till uh, less than n. So suppose uh, the number which we are checking is 7. So in case of 7, this loop will start from 2 and it will end till uh, 6. So uh, this if condition will check whether the number is divisible by i. So every time we have to divide the number starting from 2 to 6 because number is 7. So first time 7 modulus 2. So 7 modulus 2, uh, the remainder of this expression will not be equal to 0. So this if condition is false, then i++ plus plus will take uh, place. So i++ plus plus will make the value of i. Uh, uh, 3 then uh, we have to check the condition 3 is less than n so n is uh, 7 so 3 is less than 7 now if condition here so n is 7 but i is 3 so 7 modulus 3 again the remainder of this expression is not equal to 0 so if condition is again false then we have to modify uh, sorry we have to increase uh, value of i so now it becomes 4 then condition checking for less than 7 again it is true then this condition will check uh, 7 modulus 4 again it is false then i plus plus i becomes 5 so 7 modulus 5 again it is false then i plus plus now i becomes 6 so 6 less than 7 again it is uh, true then uh, n modulus i n modulus i so n is 7 i is 6 again remainder will not be equals to 0 so it will be false then again i plus plus now i become 7 so this condition uh, uh, will be uh, false this time so uh, for uh, here uh, for loop will be terminating and control transfers uh, to this if condition which is implemented just after the for loop so uh, after completion of this for loop uh, can you uh, identify the value of f uh, whether it is 0 or 1 so it will be 0 because we have not entered inside this if condition uh, any particular time. So if we do not enter inside this if condition, uh, then uh, this uh, f, the value of f will not be modified. So uh, this if condition will check the value of f. So it is 0. So 0 double equals to 0. It means this condition is true. So number is prime message will be printed on console. Now I am taking 6 as a number. So in case of 6, uh, the, I loop, uh, the for loop will start from 2. Condition will be i less than 6. Then this if condition, it will check n modulus i. So n is 6 and i is 2. The remainder of this expression will be 0. So this time, uh, first time itself the condition is true. So f becomes 1. Now I have used break here. 
Why break? Because number is divisible by two. So we do not have to divide it with another numbers. So we can break the execution of loop here itself. So after completion of this for loop, a control transfers to this if condition. Now value of f is one, and we are comparing it with zero. So condition gets false. So in else case, we are we are using printf number is not print. So this message will be printed on console. So in case of seven. Number is prime will be printed on console, but in case of six, number is not prime will be printed on console. Now I am compiling this code to find out errors and warnings. So there are no error or warning, and it is also converted into object code. Now I am executing this code. So first I am entering seven. So this program is printing number is prime. So this is correct. Again I am executing the program. now i have entered 6 so you can see that number is not prime is printed on console so in both the cases both the cases this program is working properly uh, whether it is prime or not prime so you can also implement this program on your laptop or desktop in this program we have used three features for loop if else and break so uh, do practice of this program so that you can understand the concept behind it Uh, these are my information uh, my contact number and email id you can write any email uh, about any difficult topic so that uh, i can also implement video about that topic this is my website you can also download my app that is stack image this is for android mobile phones this contains uh, materials regarding c c++ java web tech ethical hacking etc You can also download tutorials from this link tutorials. dot techmis. dot in. It is available on my website. You can read these books to understand about programming. You can uh, watch this YouTube channel. Here, uh, various programming languages videos are available, so you can watch them and learn about programming. Uh, so do follow my details and thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.